welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is your host, Coach Danny, and today we're talking about day 83, Saturday, June 13th. For our warm up, we'll start with three to four rounds 30 jumping jacks, 10 push ups, 10 air squats, 10 sit ups, 10 towel or ring rows, and 10 to 20 seconds in a crab bridge hold. From there, we'll go into our Metcon, which is a 20 minute AMRAP of the rep scheme 21 18 15 12 9 6 3 then back up 6 9 12 etc etc so basically what we're looking at here for our full gym is going to be toes to bar or double the amount of hollow rocks if you're not doing toes to bar you can do hollow rocks you can do bent hollow hollow rocks you can do um, one leg bent and one arm at your side with the opposite arm and leg extended out but find a variation of this that is doable for you you're also welcome to do hanging knee or leg raises from there, we go into push presses. If you're using dumbbells, that's fine as well. And then front squat using the same weight. For our sum equipment variation, we have toes to ring. If you're not doing toes to rings, you can do dragon flags. Most of you guys are familiar with these. You probably just haven't put a name to it yet. That's when you're laying on the ground, holding on to, um, really you could use any piece of furniture that is in your house, but typically in the gym when we do them, we hold on to a, um, an upright, right on the on the pull up rig and then you're bringing your feet all the way up and then controlling it down now the key here is actually to control the downward part of the motion you can also come all the way up onto your shoulders to make it harder rather than leaving your hips on the ground um, but see what works for you first before you go ahead and just jump right into the metcon um, otherwise you're welcome to do two times um, of hollow rock so it would be 42 36 etc then we go into single arm dumbbell push press. If you have two dumbbells, go ahead and use two, but if you only have one, that's perfectly fine. Um, switch arms as desired, and then we'll do dumbbell goblet squat. If you have two, again, use two. If not, one will do the trick. For our no equipment variation, we have those dragon flags or two times of our hollow rock variations. Then we're gonna do push-ups with a toe tap. So after you do your push-up, opposite arm touches opposite toe, reset, opposite arm touches opposite toe, etc. And then you'll use an odd object for your goblet squats at about 20 to 40 pounds. For our coaching notes for today, break up the sets early and often, save yourself from later rounds, and to protect your hands if you're doing toes to bar or some hanging variation of that first movement. Avoid resting between the movements, meaning try and rest in the middle of one movement. So say I'm doing toes to bar, I'm gonna try and, you know, and I have my set of 21. Maybe I'll break it up, I'll do 10 reps, then I'll rest, then I'll do 11 reps, then I go directly into 10 reps of my push or press, then I rest in the middle. Usually when we're transitioning from one movement to another, it's easy to let the rest kind of carry on. So don't let yourself kind of get sidetracked and rest too long. You want to try and keep moving the whole time. Um, this is true, especially when you get to the smaller sets. Um, you should be trying to kind of get through them all unbroken if possible and not taking your time getting from one movement to the next. Our goal for today is 225 to 297 reps, which is finishing the round of nines, going down to finishing the round of nines on the way back up. At the bottom here and in your True Coach account, you'll see rep counts just to kind of help you um, understand how many reps you were able to achieve. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you have any questions, please reach out to your coach and we will see you tomorrow.